because of my cat. Move, 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 move. Okay, so like, let's take a look at this game, how the game's gonna pan out here. Again, we got plenty of damage. It's kind of how it is every game. Every game you're gonna have plenty of damage on your team. So, um, this is another game where we're just gonna try to get our lanes ahead. We'll use the... Just looking for my cat. Roll her over. The worst. We'll look at, uh, trying to get that early game boosty boost. Mm. What? What do you want, cat? Cat, I'm very busily in the moment trying to to carry my teams to victory. Okay, very busily. I need to turn on that cat toy for her or something. The thing is, I gotta be really careful because early game, we wanna focus on this enemy bot lane. Right? That's what we like to do when we run in this build in the enemy bot lane here. Okay. Yeah, so like I took more damage there than I needed to because I didn't swing in time because I was turning on my cat toy. But this will turn into a gank, surely. Surely this will turn into a gank. I'm going. And she warded. Probably. That was an early ward, honestly. Did they see me? No, no way. Because Leona wouldn't have uh, poke up. Bro, they're so scared. Crap. Dude, I'm down to just sit here and wait. It's not warded. It's not warded. They just saw me walk in. What? What? What are you gonna do? 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 The long play. The long play. Okay. What? What? You're bothering me. You're bothering me. It was, uh... Because, like, they saw me backing when they hit me with the Kaisa thing. So they're going to assume that I, they cancel my back and I want to back, right? So they're going to think that I backed. I can't believe they fell for that AFK bait. Like, that's, like, literally oldest trick in the book, man. I just wanted to auto that again to get my Q up. <laughs> baited. Baited, 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 baited. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, true, true. The oldest league meme is definitely the uh, the Garen sitting in the bush. Waiting to spin you, man. Waiting to spin you. I completely forgot that meme even existed. Come on, Diana. Why are you doing this to me, baby? I needed that camp. Because I need like 50 gold. Bro, like, all my camps are gone. Alright, fantastic. You know, I wouldn't have ganked that if Diana didn't take my uh, entire bot side. So, I'm just saying. Thanks, Diana. Mm-hmm. 
Real hero. I bet your bot lane also appreciates you. That's the best kind of karma. Whenever they take all your camps and you get something huge out of it. Best kind of karma. I mean, I wouldn't say kill Lana was huge, but it certainly could potentially be huge. I tried to move my chair. I thought I looked everywhere for my cat I, and I didn't see her. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to move my chair. And then I look down as I'm moving my chair and there she is. I almost rolled over her, man. Poor kitty. Let's get topside. Maybe we can gank. Wait, where's he going? That was pretty wild. <laughs> I don't know, man. Actually, I really want that Gromp. Since I'm here anyway, I'm just going to go grab that Gromp. Nice. Lots of me, huh? No, they're not. Ah, uh, I don't think that's diveable. I mean, maybe. It, like, it, like, if Zillion hits some things, maybe it's diveable. What in the world killed me, man? Jeez. All right, so yeah, the the zeal is for the uh, faster early game cost efficiency. Did she get my red? No, she didn't get it. Diana's here with no HP. Uh, so yeah, the idea behind the zeal is that the zeal has 150% cost efficiency. It's a very cost efficient item. Uh, all the stats work really well on Yi. And Phantom Dancer is also supremely cost efficient as well. So we can pick up a Phantom Dancer as a literal first item and get a pretty insane power spike, right? Because Phantom Dancer also gives us some AD as well, as we can see here, we're using these two long swords. Now, the thing is, is we can actually pivot these two long swords into an eclipse if uh, our game plan changes in some way. Let's say we back with like 2.6K gold or something, right? Then we can easily turn these into uh, the eclipse instead. If we're running Eclipse, just, uh, I'm kind of memeing with the Eclipse. I mean, you can honestly run Kraken with the build as well. But, um, honestly, I just want the movement speed. The shield. Get out of here. But, like, you just buy the Phantom Dancer when you get it. We did burn her ult, so hopefully my bot lane can just win this. Okay, so without ult, it's going to be pretty big for our bot. Let's go grab this. Now, we don't know, like, what Diana has managed to clear in my jungle or not. So I'm kind of tempted to head over to the uh, Gromp over here. So we killed the blue two and a half minutes ago. The Gromp spawns at 250. So that Gromp spawning, you know, about now. I mean, wait, that was a Kai'Sa shutdown? Oh, I thought that would be Fiona. I'll see you later, Zill. I gotta go get that Gromp. I have a date with Gromp. Oh, that was warded. So we know, we saw Diana topside-ish, right? So we wanna make sure that we take these camps while we can. All right, we're not taking that one, but.
Oh, uh, yeah, we're... Oh. Oh, that's a shutdown for Leona, though. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Start working towards our next item, so a little bit more AD. The stack with all this attack speed we got. Because if we only have attack speed, right, we don't do any damage. Very nice. What? Okay, very nice. A little bit slow on that nice, but nice is nice. And then I can go make some moves for that dragon while my bot lane pushes bottom. Graves is kind of feeding a little bit. Very nice. Oh. He's worth money again. Got to think positive here. Positive thoughts, guys. Positive thoughts. I'm going to hop in the dragon and then look at ganking bottom again. A lot of cost efficiency with this build. And lots of move speed. 514 movement speed. 521. 528. Especially when we pop that ghost and we zoom. Bro, this thing takes forever to kill. So this will completely ruin Diana's bot side clear. I have a feeling she's probably going to walk down towards bot side to grab those camps that I just cleared. Alright, getting a system on Graves. This gives me full Ravenous stacks. I'm pretty sure I already had full Ravenous on him anyway because he gave me 176 gold. Zooming around the map. Good attack speed. Bit confused why he even sent that. Like, they wouldn't have known he was coming down. Five move speed going deep but we want to stay in position for this uh eclipse we want to finish this eclipse here eclipse is 2400 i don't have highlander and stuff now <sighs> let's roll over to here All right, Eclipse has been acquired. Now we back, check out their team oh, comp, yeah. how they're doing here. Honestly, this would be a great Death Dance game if I was playing on the um, the new patch, but since I'm still playing on the old one, I'm gonna hold off on it, but I might grab it later if Graves gets fed. But the Death Dance would be great against, uh, you know, we'd have Diana, Graves. I wouldn't bring Maul, not against just a fed Diana. This, I'm pretty sure this Jax has been taking my Gromp the whole game. Because I haven't been top, so... Man, that blue is really easy. Was that a level 1 blue? There's no way, because Diana had to have killed my blue at some point. Why are they killing that Zillion? Can't kill in the Zillion.
Yikes. I got them both, though. Well, Fiora just uh, popped. <laughs> Enemy, triple kill. Enemy triple, huh? All right, well, you know, there's the Fiora coming in hot. Now, the problem is this Fiora does true damage and a lot of true damage. So when it comes down to what we need to do against her is obviously we have to duel her, right? So we'll be getting the Guntu's Rage Blade here to help us with dueling uh, Fiora in the future. <clears throat> oh, they have objective bounties now, too. Rough. That's the power of the dragons, guys. Power of the dragons. Your team has destroyed a turret. Uh, let's roll up, grab the Rift Herald, and then make our way down towards the dragon. A true master is in a because Rift Herald is still an objective that they're going to be trying to contest. Oh no, they know I'm here. All right, nice fight. Yeah, I think I gave them like a, a sense of security when they saw me in the sh Shelly. They didn't expect me to run down so fast, right? You know, the power of the Moomus we build, guys. The power of the Moomus we build. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> zipping around the map, man. Zipping around the map. Now, you could get like Relentless Hunter, but I feel like that's just kind of overkill. And also, I like Ravenous. So the idea is we're combining the Omni Vamp from Ravenous, and this, and then in the future, once I get access to Maul, uh, from Maul, like, you can have, like, 20% Omni Vamp, 24-something. Like, imagine all the damage you're dealing is also healing you. Gonna go ahead and clear this. They're definitely weaker in team fights with me, Samira, and Zillion. We don't need Jax. We'll grab Gunzu's here. And also, we don't have Tenacity in our runes, which might be worth grabbing to deal with Leona. So what we're gonna do here is, well, actually, I kind of like having the attack speed on my boots. I think we'll probably just go ahead and grab a GA here. Get the stopwatch component. Stopwatch OP. And because we're team fighting so much anyway, the GA is not going to be bad. I don't know. This is a weird and funky build. And so far, it's been okay. Especially, like, you use it to get ahead early, right? But we'll, we'll have to see how it functions when you're not ahead early. Because every time I ran this build, I got ahead early. But, you know, well, that's kind of the point of the build is to get ahead early. And if you don't get ahead early, then, yeah, it'd probably suck. Okay, <laughs> just running in 620 move speed 630 move speed. Look at this. Dude, this is insane And that's without Eclipse look how long I have it too. look I still have it. I'm still running at that speed There it goes That's without the Eclipse proc and then you get the Eclipse proc for an extra 15% movement speed In fact like when you're running this build you kind of don't even need Highlander Like look look how fast I am Four fifty, and again, this is without this is without the eclipse procs because eclipse only procs on the champion. And also without our ghost. Oh, Shelly's going in hot on that bot tower. And that's game there. <laughs> I turned on my Highlander. I was anticipating a fight with Fiora there, but 
Yeah, see, it, like you used it to get ahead early. I don't know, the build's fun. Maybe something to try if you're uh, kind of bored. 36 kill bomb today. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, the Grandmaster, you prioritize the GA. Who's the Grandmaster? Is it the Master E guy? I mean, GA is just kind of broken, right? So, but yeah, we got our bot lane really far ahead. 